Previously on Norwich's Nook, I showed you 13 amazing Afrocentric DIYs you can try. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. For today's video, sure real. <laughs> hello hello welcome back again to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Nora G and I am glad to be back yes I know I know I've been away for too long and I'm glad to be back here again guys I missed you all and yeah but before we dig right into it make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new onto this channel and join our lovely family well, without wasting much of your time, today's video is um, a DIY using hot glue. So I got this um, hot glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. So and also the canvas that I'll be using for this DIY is from the Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to show you guys how you can make some really lovely wall art using hot glue. OK, so let's just get right into it. First things first, I'm actually doing a sketch of some flowers on parchment paper. So I'm using parchment paper for this, guys, because it is easy to actually pick up your hot glue um, craft um, if you have this design on parchment paper as opposed to any other working surface. Another option would be to use a glass or mirror and have Vaseline on it, but um, that is quite messy. So I strongly recommend you use parchment paper. So it could be anything, it could be an animal, it could be a map, it could be just whatever design abstract that you want to make with your hot glue. In this case, I choose to go with flowers and a second option, I'm just going to do some strokes as you would see. So just watch us to complete this. Alright, so while I carry on with my hot glue craft, uh, yes, um, like I said at the start of this video, um, life has been lifing. I had exams, work. You just name it it was a lot and so i just needed to get all of that sorted before i resumed on youtube and i've missed this space so much guys because this is my happy place as you all know all right so i'm glad to be back crafting and i have so many exciting diys to share with you all so stay tuned so you can see how easy it was to pick that up from the parchment paper um so yes that is why i would recommend that for you so next i'll be doing the second design which is just basically strokes as you would see so i'm using my hot glue stick to actually draw out my lines just so i know exactly where my end point would be so just watch as i complete this Recently, I've been very much interested in um, hot glues and what we could do with hot glue besides just using it to maybe patch things up. So that is how this DIY came about because um, in a real world, <laughs> it's a real world because not everyone uses hot glue for wall art, uh, you would actually use like a um, plaster of Paris or what they call it. Um, something paste um, I can't remember the name that artists use to actually create something like this on a canvas however we were using hot glue in our case and also this makes that very budget friendly for those of us that cannot afford um, paste the molding paste I think that's what that's called yeah and even if you can afford it why not try something new okay so we're using hot glue and next thing I did was to spray paint it gold and while that was drying out I went ahead to use tacky glue to prime the space where I will be putting on our hot glue creation all right so just watch as I do this I chose to use tacky glue and you could also use Mod Podge for this um, because the it dries clear okay so um, that it will make perfect sense to actually use something like this um, versus something that would dry and basically leave some kind of a residue on your artwork also using black canvas here is just personal preference so you could also use white canvas if you don't have black canvas and you want black canvas you can use white canvas and paint over it in black it's all up to you once again like i always say take this and make it yours all right there's no rule book for art 
well as it's the norm on this channel if you've watched right up to this point i would love it if you can comment glue in the comment section and say hello to your girl and also if you've missed me i'd love to know how you're doing so let's chit chat in the comment section okay also do let me know what you would like to see from me as per diys and craft this here leave all those in the comment section i'll be looking forward to it thank you Even though I use gold spray paint for this, you can always use silver or any other color of your choosing. Once again, this was all my choice and you can actually take this and tweak it and make it um, yours. Mud Podge and Tacky Glue takes about 24 hours to cure and once it cures, this basically is glued on here for like forever. It is very very, it's a very strong adhesive. So I will go ahead to do the same for our second wall art um, with the, uh, the strokes. Just watch as I complete this. Once I will be done with applying this on the canvases, I will set them aside to cure properly and then I will go ahead to add some glitter over it just to give it some extra shine as you would see. Just watch as I continue this. Meanwhile, please do let me know in the comment section what you think about this DIY. Is it something you will try? What your thoughts are about this in general? I would love to know. Please comment below. So here it is all dry and clear. I'll be using some silver and gold glitter mixed together with some mud podge to add some extra shine onto our wall art just to give that extra sparkle, you know, because we're extra like that. <laughs> Anyways, just watch as I do this. Adding some extra shine to it with some sparkle is just my personal preference. Once again, the wall art is just as good as, it's, as it is right now with just the hot glue spray painted gold. But if you like some extra shine, some extra sparkle, if you're a glam person, you can actually go ahead and add this shine to it just to give it, you know, that glam effect. I had mentioned before um, hot glue sorry mud podge and tacky glue actually dries clear so the whiteness that you currently see is going to dry out into uh, clear a clear paste and it's just gonna be the glitter basically showing over it once this is all done and dusted so just watch as I complete this Once I had all of this um, done on the flowers, I did go ahead and also use some of the dust, the, the sparkle dust, and sprinkle them over it just to have some additional sparkle. There's no such thing as too much sparkle, okay? So yeah, I went ahead and did that and then set it aside to dry. I'll go ahead and do the same for the other wall art, and then I'll go ahead and have this set aside overnight to cure properly because it takes about 24 hours for this to cure completely after which our work will be done good thing for you you don't have to wait that long so i'll be showing you the final work in a few seconds so just bear with me as i show you the final product before i let it cure i added some more sprinkle of the sparkling dust over our wall art and this is our final look Please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this wall art. If this is something you would love to try sometime by yourself or with your kids, it's a fun project. Alright, so I had so much fun doing this. Do let me know what you think. I love the 3D effect that the hot glue gives because this is something you could easily just do with sparkle paste and some mud podge or just basically painting it out by hand but i chose to do use hot glue just to give it that uh, you know 3d effect or just making something different using a different method i do hope you did enjoy this diy if you did enjoy this diy please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing because i have a lot of fun diys in store for you all so stay tuned 
with that said that will bring us to the end of this DIY and always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you thank you for watching and have a great day